Hello everyone, welcome back to another Crewcraft video, and today we are in Hypixel Skyblock, and we are going to be continuing on with all of the millions and billions and trillions and quadrillions and quintillions and sextillions and septillions and octillions and nonillions and decillions, and I'm waiting for Luke to stop me, but he's not, I, so I'm never very mind. What's happening. You know, like, Wait. there's... There's, there's millions, and then there's oh, billions, and then there's trillions, and then there's quadrillions, and then there's quintillions, and then there's sextillions, and then there's septillions, and then there's octillions, and then there's nonillions, and then there's decillions, and then there's undecillions, and then dodecillions, and then tridecillions, and quad. Okay, never mind. I can go on for a really, really, really long time. So I mean, you I'm could. Sorry. I'm just gonna lie. I just want to see how long you're gonna go for. Well, I, I, I'm out of breath. I'll do it. I'll do it for you after the call or after the. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to bore you with all my number knowledge. So yeah. Um, even though today will be a little bit more action-packed yeah. compared uh, to some of the right. cube craft, um, which I'm gonna be, I think, mining today. That's my or mining or doing wood. I've um, been mining for a while, but I don't know what's needed. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the park here. Actually, let me yeah. check the quests and then I'll start discussing on movie stuff because yeah, that's what I've been played, doing. I haven't played Skyblock in a long time. I don't like, you know. Quest log. Find all fairy what? souls. Like Marco Carpentry, see. Halloween person. Here, Monger. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to the woods. So let's see. This is the hub right here. We spawn right here, so. Uh, we need to go this way, I think. Is this right? Um, we'll see. And sorry about the frame rate here. I'm gonna try and render distance back down because that seems to usually have health because it's really high right now. Eight chunks should hopefully do it. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, sorry about this frame rate, guys. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to be discussing more movies like I normally did. So I can now officially say I have watched every Pixar movie that there is. I don't remember every Pixar movie. Like I can, like I have memory of like one like five second clip of each and every movie, but that like at a minimum. So I have seen them all, uh -huh. but I just have I don't remember a lot about some of them, so I'll need to rewatch them still. So yeah, I finally watched The Good Dinosaur um, last night. So yeah, I was not completely sure about like how that was going to go because a lot of people are like, a lot, there's a lot of um, debate on whether that was like a really bad movie or a really good movie. And in my opinion, I think it's a little bit in between. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I, I think it's in between. Too. So first of all, the graphics, like the like the details, the nature, the environment, the everything, that was really good because basically the entire movie you're following like two characters, um, but then everything besides the two characters who look cartoony on purpose, besides like all the realistic cartoony, the realistic details that go into them, but they still look cartoony, which is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. I need to find the right place. Okay, so the ever like the ent environment looks real like if they were to have removed the characters and just taken a picture i would have thought it was real like the entire environment which is a, like a completely different section shown like every i don't know five minutes at a maximum and it's like uh -huh. a really it's like a i don't know a ten, i was gonna say a 10 hour long movie <laughs> that would be a really long animated movie it's like um uh an hour and a half long so the graphics in this movie are really 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 good so Pretty good. If you if you well, you only say pretty good. What what have you yeah. seen? What have I you mean, seen? Are, I haven't watched in a while. I mean, there's you know. I mean, just just I, um, I, just imagine a real forest, but with cartoony characters yeah. that look like they yeah. fit in. They they act like they yeah. look like they actually fit in. Yeah. The for the 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 environment it looks 100% real, but the cartoony characters fit in, which is like something only Pixar can do. I know. So yeah. It's pretty good. Wait, can I actually teleport over there? To where? Uh, no, I cannot. I need birchwood level eight. Okay, I'm looking for the birchwood, bir the wood place. Yeah, the birchwood at the park. It's like behind the trees. I'm over right now. Okay. Birch. Well, I know it's behind the trees. I'm just trying to figure out where the trees are. Uh, you. I think it's. I don't. I. I. I I'm just gonna I go around the edge of the map and I'll find it eventually. I was not paying enough attention to where I was going to. <laughs> know where it is. Okay, here I'm gonna mess my settings a little bit to try to get the music or the, the video to a better. Let's see, video settings, uh -huh. render distance, four chunks. Uh, I think that should be good. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so 
while we are in this very unfortunate and laggy frame rate, um, I'm going to uh, continue talking about the good dinosaur, and I'm going to uh, go back to the hub and try to figure out exactly where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to figure out where I'm supposed to be first, and then I'll talk about the good dinosaur. So, um, if the arena is that way, then that means the park... No, nope, the park is this way. The park is this way. Okay. I'm, pre I'm, I'm pretty sure it should be. Okay. I can't find it. Luke, are you able to, like, come to the lobby and, like, lead me? Wait, this is the uh, arena. I, Never mind. I, I, I don't know if I can join you, though. Well, I think since we're in the same island, you should join the same server. Okay. Uh, oh, it's sent back to the... Okay, hold on. Are we in the same server on Instagram? Oh. Okay. You want to say the hub again? Yeah, I don't see a game tag. Okay, I think it might be this way, so I, I want to, like, act... I want to do no, something no, productive. Let me, just, uh, let me just go over to the, uh... Wait, hold on, is this it? Let me go over to the lobby or whatever, like, the place, and I can tell oh, you... that's the bartender, so never mind. Okay. Um... Just go over to the main portal, I'll tell you where to go from there. Okay, alright. And, like I keep saying, I'm really sorry about right. this frame, See right? the giant pumpkin? Yes. Okay, so you go to the pumpkin, you go to the right from the pumpkin. Okay. Oh, when you're facing the pumpkin, you go right. Oh, there we go. Forest. Uh, a sign that pointing to the forest. Wonderful. So I was in the right direction initially. Yeah. Only took me, like, eight Probably. minutes. Okay, so more opinions about the good dinosaur. Uh-huh. Um, I haven't watched it, but when I did watch it, I thought it was okay. It was, yeah, so the thing is, is, like, game. the plot line is kind of yeah. non-existent. Like, yeah. there isn't really, like, a good distinct plot line. It's basically character development, but not actual, like, plot line. And any, like, new characters that are introduced are, like, only temporary, except for, like, one little group who has like, I don't know, five lines or something when they're reintroduced. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm not gonna like really like explain that situation because I don't want to spoil anything as always. Um, so yeah, um, and then also with, there is the, um, let me think. Uh, so yeah, there's the, the storyline is definitely not, like, a strong point because, it, like, the main character, he basically meets a human who acts like a dog because that's what humans do in Dinosaur um, Age, I guess. Yeah, like, they yeah. are dinosaur pet. There's, they're the dinosaur's pet dogs. <laughs> yeah. um, who would have thought? And then, yeah, they go on an adventure, except, like, there is, like, one little, like, scene where it talks about, like, the history of both their families, sort of. Except, like, they- I don't think they made it as emotional as I would want it to be. Like, and the thing is, is, like, the big emotional moment of the movie really happens then, and it's, like, in the beginning. So I guess it's kind of, like, Up, except Up has a better ending. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, say some things about the ending. Here we are. The end. The ending. The ending of the good dinosaur is no. There, it's it's completely open ended. There's no epilogue scene. So I have yeah. talked a lot about Soul that has been completely open ended, open ended and no epilogue scene. But in for Soul, that ending fit really well because of uh, the type of movie it was, and I I loved that ending so much because it was open ended. But um, the. Well, I guess technically, uh, so, The Good Dinosaur, like, in a sense, isn't necessarily open-ended, but you'll have to watch it to understand what I mean if you haven't watched it yet. Um, but in the way I saw it, it was completely open-ended, open and he ba the, basically the, the, the conflict is resolved, and it does not fit an open-ending. Like, it doesn't talk about, like, what happens to the main character after the conflict gets resolved, when it really should. Okay, I'm gonna read this character. Yeah, side sidetrack side to uh, we're gonna try to reach foraging level five. Okay. Okay, so that's our next goal, and I'll continue talking. So, yeah, like for example, like the movie Onward, 
um, which is my favorite, word. my favorite Woo. Pixar movie of all time. Um, my favorite Pixar movie. Uh, oh, that's a close second. Yeah. I just always love Finding Nemo. I actually started rewatching that again, but then, uh, like last night, but then I was getting tired, so I went into a place uh -huh. where I wouldn't get tired. <laughs> Not that, not that the movie yeah, was boring, was, was but I was trying to stay yeah. up all night, and yeah, be, watching the movie wasn't helping that much. <laughs> so yeah, I wa so onward. I really loved uh, how it did, but I was almost like afraid that it would be an open ending. And if it had been an open ending, I th I would have not liked it as much yeah, at all. Probably not. Like I might have watched it like twice and then not really much anymore instead of like seven times like I have. Um. So, like, open endings. Oh, wow, say? they add monsters into the wood area. That's new. Oh, okay. So, There's monsters in the woods now. Great. <laughs> so, open die. endings work in Don't some make. movies, but in The Good Dinosaur, they put an open ending where it definitely does not fit at all. Like, in, in detail, what spectrum... They did a ton of new, like, technical everything because it looks amazing. Like, they've mastered environmental everything about it. But it's just, it's just, although they did well in that part, the storyline is very, very, very not great. So I don't know if you guys agree with me with this, but that that is my full-fledged storyline opinion about the good dinosaur and then i don't know let me think of i'm trying to think of anything else i have um yeah i don't got anything i mean the new episode of wandavision came out yesterday that was pretty interesting oh yeah i so i did i caught up back on wandavision to episode five i haven't seen the sixth episode yet because when i was watching it it wasn't out so hopefully i'll watch it sometime this week and i'm really liking it so far I, yeah, like, I think it was pretty good. It's nice, you know. Ever ever since off. Pixar, I haven't really liked action and suspense things that don't end with emotional endings, which is not what superhero movies do. <laughs> um, like oh I, it, needs, it needs to be emotional. Jerry, Jerry. What? He's murdering me. <laughs> it needs to be emotional, and then it needs to be happy at the end. Like emotional, but then a sub like a sense of happiness. Someone was killed by scary Jerry. Oh no. So, yeah, like, I don't know. Why are there a bunch of spooky things? It's like January. It seems like Halloween stuff out right now. Logger 5, whoa. Okay. So, yeah, like the endings for me, like lately, I've been, I just need it to um, be it. Uh, so. Well, let me just quickly. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm so cool. Yeah, why is there... There's what is this? Stuff, the huh? spirit right. of me? Why is that a thing? I don't know. It seems like Halloween stuff, right? But, but it's... it's did they forget to remove it? it? Okay, so as I was saying... Work. I mean, they might have because they've been working on Pytail, you know? So maybe they've been focusing on Pytail as much. Nice. Yeah. Spooky Festival. Yeah, we found candy. Candy drops. Yeah. This is... Why? Halloween stuff everywhere. Why though? Okay, I don't want. I don't like it here. I'm gonna. Some I'm other country has spooky stuff going on right now. Is like celebrating some other. Maybe Chinese New Year for some reason. That's like the most it's recent not, holiday. Yeah, Chinese New Year, but I don't. That's, I don't that's think that has anything to do with it. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, yeah. what I was saying with endings is I like it so the ending is emotional, but then there is some kind of like after scene where it shows a happy ending happening, or in. Soul, they just combine both of it. There's like not it's open ending, but they also combine the happy feeling with it at the end. So masterfully uh, executed in that movie. Um, and then like because of that, I've kind of like my opinion on other like superhero movies have like, gone like, eh, it's not my favorite thing. I'll watch it, but it's not my favorite thing in the world because uh -huh. Pixar is my favorite thing in the world now. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Yeah, I think they're some of my favorite thing in the world, but I mean, I respect it. I mean, they make pretty good movies, so... Yes. Um, they're miles ahead of every every other animating studio. You know, I mean, you look at Toy Story, that was back in, like, 19, like, you know... Yeah, that was, like, the... That, that was the first... Well, I guess, like, you probably know this, but that's the first animated feature-length film of, all, like, ever. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what's funny, though, is, um, you know, in Monster Thing, right? Yeah. That Boo has that Nemo stuffed animal or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Nemo wasn't yeah. out yet. 
Yeah, Nemo wasn't out yet. Yeah, yeah. I realized like that. There's a, there's a lot a lot of, a lot of times that happens yeah. because like, uh, for example, on, Onward was in production for six and a half years. Yeah. And so I wouldn't be surprised if there were some Easter eggs dropped then. And also, uh, Soul. There's this character named Dorothea Williams, and uh, mm-hmm. the Ian and Barley's mom has one of Dorothea Williams' albums in her house, even though Soul wasn't released until like six oh, months yeah, later. Yeah. So, they do that to. Uh, yeah, really. I mean, that really just pushes all the connective theories and stuff. You know, it's like I know it's like supposed to be Easter eggs and stuff, but like it's yeah, mm-hmm. really they're just feeding the, the whole it's, connected it's universe theory. The Pixar theory. Yeah. So yeah, it's the it's um it's the, the, since everything is in development for so long, they're gonna know like about everything happening like when these movies are released, so they can like easily put them in last yeah. minute. Like for example, Onward was in development when Inside Out came out and stuff. So yeah, I think it was in development since like uh twenty like summer of twenty thirteen. Mm-hmm. So. Whatever movie came out then, I guess they could have put an onward Easter egg, even though everything was probably completely different. <laughs> so yeah, random examples, and then let me think. Uh, so yeah, like in like each movie, usually like they have been taking a big step in like experimenting with something like. Uh, the Incredibles had a lot to do with like experimenting with like different kinds of bodies, and then also hair. Uh-huh. Hair was yeah. part of the experiment. Yeah. Like Violet, the character Violet, her hair was like one of the hardest things in the movie. And then also Sully from Monsters Inc. That was also a big hair experiment <laughs> um, because they were trying to like. Yeah, I mean, it's like just a bunch of hair on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then. Movies like Brave and The Good Dinosaur, where there's a ton of. Brave was really. I like the movie Brave. I think Brave's pretty. That's one of the movies that I need to rewatch because I like. I remember like a couple scenes from it, but I don't really remember anything like that well at all. I I, I watched that movie before I really like had a concept of what Pixar was. I think I don't know. I don't really actually remember when that came out. I think I might. Funny though, Pixar is Brave, which like movie about bears and stuff, right? And Disney has Brother Bear movie about bears and stuff oh yeah uh there was like uh some like comparisons to that i, don't, I haven't actually seen that movie so i don't really brother bear or yeah. brave brother bear. Oh, brother bear brother bear is a pretty good movie it, i liked it it was it's one of my tops disney movies yeah i don't really know what my top disney movie would be to be completely honest i don't know what my top disney movie would be either i like a lot of the classic movies because of nostalgic yeah, reasons good. Maybe Aladdin. I like Aladdin. Aladdin's pretty Oh, yeah. The, like, Aladdin has too many plot holes, though. That's, that's fair. <laughs> now, that was a bad thing. Like, I was watching a video, like, a, like a 20-minute long video saying, like, that, what, what's like what's with all these plot holes? Why, why, do, why do we have a video this long filled with plot holes in Aladdin <laughs> that were funny? And I'm satisfied with them being plot holes because they're funny. So, yeah. Um... Uh, like, I don't really think I have a favorite Disney movie, because I haven't yeah, really thought of it. Like, my favorite, I haven't really had an opinion on my favorite movie, bes- so, the first, my first favorite movie was Klaus, which is a Christmas movie, and then my second favorite movie was Onward, Klaus. which I watched, like, three weeks ago, so. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I, I really started considering, like, my favorite movie list. Which, since mm-hmm. I've only really considered it through P- Pixar, everything in there is a Pixar movie besides. Movies that are there, but not really. I didn't really talk about favorite movies either. It's just yeah. not something you normally like, think about, like get, favorite games and stuff. You think about like favorite, you know, mm-hmm. colors. Well, it just it depends on what you're into. Numbers like if stuff. you're really yeah, into like watching movies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm more like, you know, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? Yeah. I just never thought about movies. You know, it's just, like you watch them, you enjoy them. You rewatch them sometime later, yeah. It's just, yeah. Or you rewatch yeah. them right after you watch it the first time. I don't normally. I'm not one of the people who does that. I mean, sometimes well, it will really good, and I really enjoyed it back at it. But most of the time, I don't do that. So, yeah. I do binge watch though. If I find a good show, like I'll probably like, I finish like half the season in one day. Well, yeah. When I when I when I first watched The Flash, I did that. I would watch like ha- I would watch it all night because I would because I started yeah. watching it during like school time, so I would stay up all night on Fridays. 
Yeah, that's what I do, like, for anime. So that's I think I got through, like, all six yeah. seasons and maybe, like, three months watching it once a week. <laughs> AKA watching it, like, 12 hours a week, so. Huh. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was, it was I can, I can, I'm starting to save up money, right? I think if I can get a decent PC, I might start streaming. So that sounds fun. Yeah, like I said, yeah. like I said before, I'm only gonna really do that uh, in the summer because yeah, uh, it'll obviously I think like, like summer and stuff to do stuff. But like I do, so I think streaming would be fun because yeah. yeah, and then if you can... get it, people like you know you keep if people like watching you, and, you know I would just enjoy streaming. If people didn't watch me, I just enjoy doing it. it sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. Dude, well, my... the video's gonna is I think it's getting pretty long. Let me check the recording time real quick. Yeah, it's getting about a decent length, so we're gonna have to end it here. If you enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe, and we will be back one day. Hopefully, one day, on, maybe. Uh, hopefully on Monday. <laughs> so we don't die this week. We, we will. Yep. We'll be okay. Well, or like, or like, I don't know. A tree falls in our house or something because I'm yeah, of course a tree. Yeah, something like that. So. And then I, I, I guess cut off or something. Yeah, hopefully. Well, <laughs> I actually <laughs> set my I accident. Well, maybe I'll accidentally set my clock, my my uh, device date to 2036, so it won't connect to the internet. Um, oh no. I was my phone. I, I was like I had I was yeah I I, I have experience with that happening. Just don't <laughs> You've ask. Done that before. Uh, um, yeah, I've set my time to them, and then I, my internet my internet wasn't working. I'm like, why isn't this working? And I would like fig I would be, realize like an hour later, and I'm like, why is it November fifth when it's actually like July second? <laughs> oh no. So yeah. Anyways, I'll see you later. Goodbye.